हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मालिका भूवना एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिस वीडियो हैज बीन इन द वर्क्स फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई एक्चुअली पुट आउट अ पोल ऑन इंस्टाग्राम आई थिंक अ मंथ अगो आस्किंग यू गाइज टू आस्क मी एनी क्वेश्चन यू गाइज वॉन्ट टू नो अनोनमसली एंड आई गॉट अ लोड ऑफ क्वेश्चन आज सो एम गो बी आंसरिंग ऑल ऑफ दोज क्वेश्चन टूडे फॉर यू गाइज सो आई होप यू गाइज है फॉन सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड So I'm going to be going from the first question and then follow on. The first question is a secret you kept from your parents. Good start you guys. <laughs> I had not really prepped so let's see how this goes. Uh I have sneaked out of my house a couple of times. When I'm I'm 22 now. So when I was like 16, 15 whatever. Doesn't really count. So mom if you're watching this, it was a long time ago. Let's forget it. But I have sneaked out of my house a couple of times. So yeah, that's one secret which is not a secret anymore. A lot of people have asked me very personal questions about if I will date them without having their names on the questions. So no, the answer is no. Not really. I do not really feel I want to answer any of these questions, you guys. Ah, the other question is, did you ever kiss in public? I'm 22 you guys so yes I have kissed in public before. <laughs> uh the next question is who's your crush? I do not know. I not really had one recently. And if I did I would not be able to share this on camera so I do not really know but I've had a crush on Priyanka Chopra since I was a child. I admire her work a lot. So I do not really think that was your question but that's the answer you're going to get. And she she's behind my camera and she's laughing at my answers. I know the answer. <laughs> okay, who's your worst enemy? That's Mhm. Mm ah, that's a lot. Who's my worst enemy? I don't know you guys. I I do not think I have an enemy. I there are a lot of people I do not like because I'm very choosy. <laughs> Shushi knows that I I do not really get along with a lot of people. However, I do not really have an enemy. Yeah, so no, I do not have an enemy. probably my procrastination but again a very boring answer from what you expected but i procrastinated and that's probably my worst enemy which comes in between me and youtube videos and editing so there you go the next question is did dps patna help in halt or something context i did my high school and probably all my schooling from dps patna delhi public school and halt is the place where i went to college so halt london and the question is if uh, dps helped me get into halt or not uh the correct answer is it depends how uh, dps patna i was a very very shy person when i was like in middle school or like in uh, junior school whatever you call it and dps patna did help me become more confident become the person i am today and uh, just be out there and do whatever i wanted to do however it did not really help me particularly with my applications for halt because nobody in patna really knew what the ad application process was to apply to schools in the us and the uk and it was all self taught and dexterity dexterity helped me a lot but deep is patna not specifically but it did help me become the person i am today so i'm very very grateful uh halt or deep is patna choose one oh my god that is tough between school and college i cannot choose you guys halt is literally It's, it's it holds a very special place halt has given me a lot and i cannot forget that and deepis patna has literally made me who i am today so there is no comparison but i am equally grateful to both places to help me shape who i am today uh the next question is your worst habit i don't know if i could say it on camera you guys my worst habit ah uh, okay let's think something i can actually say ah what's my worst habit good I know. I know my worst habit, shopping too much. Huh. That or what were you thinking, Shristi? Just giving people a call back for 2 seconds. <laughs> yeah, I'm not really good with messaging or calling in general. I like, just like I like to be present wherever I am. So like phone's not really my thing anymore because I'm very very busy with work. But yeah, my worst habit would probably be shopping too much and spending money mindlessly. I do not Feel like I need to save money for the future, which I probably should, but that is not who I am. So yeah, that's my worst habit: spending money mindlessly. You guys, moving on. Where are your parents from? From India. <laughs> I am an Indian. 
brought and born and brought up in India and my parents are from India very specifically my mom was born and brought up in Kolkata so she's from Kolkata but not really a Bengali if people know what I'm talking about and my dad was always from Patna so yeah that's where I am from uh, the next question is <laughs> the worst date I have ever been on interesting ah okay the worst date I've been on it was not really the worst date but I wanted to come back home very quickly because I was like I'm, I need to go home like I'm just like I'm done after an hour I was like this is just not happening so I said I have makeup on and I'm wearing my lenses and I get pimples if I do not get home in the next hour I was so embarrassed he's like what are you talking about and I'm like I need to go home now like you don't understand he's like why I'm like my face will suffer you know I have pimple problems he's like what are you talking about I'm like yeah whatever you don't understand and I literally rushed home and that was probably the worst behavior on my part but I was just like I was bored and I wanted to go home so I just made the worst possible excuse ever and Good yeah one. that's the worst that I've been on it, it's, it's very embarrassing it's like, to, it's like the guy would be like what was that girl talking about her lenses and her pimples <laughs> Whatever you guys, I just wanted to get out of here and I got out of there, so that's good. Another question, I am planning for studies in London, so can you help me out with a few queries which I have? I have a video about HALT, if that's interesting, watch that. If not, send me uh, a message on Instagram and then we can talk then. Did you get your job after bachelor's or master's? I did not do my master's, you guys. I did my undergrad from Hart International Business School. I graduated three months ago, and then I started my job three months ago. So yeah, I got my job after undergrad. Watch my graduation video here. Watch my graduation video right here. <laughs> Thank you, Shushti, for the plug-in. Uh, another question. I think a lot of people are interested in my personal life. A lot of them. Uh, another question is why did I break up? Very interesting. Not something I would want to talk about as to the reason why I broke up. But everyone breaks up at one point with their partner. And yeah, it was something we thought was necessary at one point. However, talking about the present. Life is good and I feel like everything happens for a reason you guys. So if you guys broke up recently, it's fine. Things will fall into place sooner than you'll expect and your life will be way better than you thought it would be and you'll just be the happiest person around so yeah just hang on there hang in there whatever it is and look at me i am very very happy so it doesn't matter why i broke up because it's done you guys let's move on <laughs> i actually have a real shushti on my instagram it said a lot of people i could talk about my past but they forget that i did not live there anymore mm. so catch up <laughs> Uh, next question, any fight that you do not regret? I am not somebody who regrets things honestly. I'm, not, I'm somebody who does what she wants to honestly without thinking too much about other people. And that's how I am in general. So I do not regret anything in my life so far. And if I do, then it's not a fight. So yeah, I do not regret any fight. Everything happens for a reason again. So it happened. It's in the past. I don't live there anymore. So moving on. <laughs> Uh, who's your best friend in India in India and in UK? Interesting question you guys. Uh, there's so many people people are gonna feel so bad after this video if they watch it. But if you're not my best friend and if you're not watching this, I'm sorry, you're not on this list. <laughs> uh, my best friend in India, you guys. I know Vrinda Banka, if you're watching this. You're my best friend since I was like, I don't know, one years old, two years old. So we've been together since forever and she's my best friend. I meet another best friend in India who's very, very, very close to my heart. I sp speak to him very, very often. He's Kesha. I know he's watching this. I love you. So Kesha is my best friend from India. And then in the UK, that's very, very tough. I have a lot of close friends in the UK, you guys. Uh, but I think in terms of best friend, it will be Zach. He is one of my closest friends in the UK. And he has been with me since first year. And we have had the best time together. And... He has helped me in multiple ways and just helped me shape myself as a person as well and vice versa. So, Zach, you're my best friend. I love you and I miss you. So come to London soon. He's in New York right now, by the way. Very, very proud. He's at Columbia. Doing very well with his life. Oh, you guys, the next question is, am I straight? Yes. <laughs> I am 100% straight, you guys. Um, the next question is, who's the last person I texted? 
if you ask me this question any hour of the day it will be my mom you guys <laughs> she calls me every hour to ask me about random things about what she should buy and that's a problem or where she should go and xyz and i'm in the office work and then she calls me one time so i decline the call she calls me five times and i pick up when i go down so and she's like i'm like ma what's up and she goes hi how are you I'm like that's what you wanted to ask me five times i'm working so yeah i texted my mom she is in cannes right now in france and she asked me which nightclub she should go to with her friends and that's the last text i sent her <laughs> yeah that's right uh which course did you study at hud i am a finance major believe it or not you guys i am a finance major i did not know how i did it but i did it it's in the past again <laughs> and i did data analytics minor but business in general so bba next question where are you from i think i answered this already i'm from india but i've been li- living in london since the past 5 years and yeah that's that's it what made you open a youtube channel this is interesting ah this could go on and on we'll try to make it very very short you guys uh i have been a very shy person and i've not been the most secure and confident person there is however a lot of my experiences in my life made me who i am and when i got that confidence and when i was not insecure about who i am the way i talk the way i look the way i dress and so many other things I thought I should vlog and I vlogged I started vlogging I think 3 or 4 years ago just random vlogs here and there but again was not secure enough to put it online but I think last year I was like covid's almost ending I am still in college time will never come back and I was the most confident person I'll ever be hopefully so I was like let's start a youtube channel and I love talking you can tell and i love talking to people and love sharing my opinions because i have very strong opinions about things and i think they should be heard so i thought of starting a youtube channel to connect with an audience build a community of my own and just entertain you guys hopefully this is entertaining you with this video so yeah that made me open a youtube channel just uh just something i wanted to do when i became more confident and more secure about who i am which was not necessarily the case when i was a child so when i was in school so yeah uh if not hult then which university and where interesting i applied to over 12 plus universities in the us none in the uk but hult has a campus in the uk and that's how i landed up at hult but i really 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 wanted to go to babson they have this uh, entrepreneurship uh, scholarship thing and i love entrepreneurship and that's what interested me a lot i was on wait list at babson and then never thought of waiting up because i am an impatient person so did not do what i was supposed to do after being on the wait list and then landed at hult and could have never been more grateful it was the best decision of my life and changed it forever literally okay you guys uh, this is the last question are you planning to get a permanent residency of uk or will you be an nri non resident indian I have thought about this a lot to be very very honest and I think short term my plan is to stay in London and grow my career here and see how things work out. Uh long term nobody knows time will tell so stay tuned watch my videos and then you'll know if I'm in London or in India. So yeah stay tuned for that but that was it you guys that was the last question. Thank you so much for asking me all of those questions and being interested about my life in general. <laughs> yeah thank you so much for watching this video so far. I hope that was interesting and I was very very honest you guys so appreciate that. <laughs> I was almost very honest. Let's keep it at that. But yes, thank you so much for watching this video so far. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. Uh follow me on Instagram if you want to be the one to ask me these questions the next time I put that poll up. And yes, I will see you next time. Much love. Bye. <laughs> thank you.